Whether you grew up with the old animation, Jim Carrey's frantic outing, or even the new Illumination version, almost everyone knows the story of the Grinch. This grumpy, putrid, vomit-colored creature has a severe heart condition that left his heart far too small. He also seems to have heightened senses, since the sights and sounds of Christmas time in Whoville grate on his nerves despite living so far up the mountain. Eventually, the Grinch cracked. Aided by his loyal dog Max, the Emerald Evildoer snuck into Whoville to launch his guerrilla-style attack on Christmas. He stole decorations, gifts, trees, anything that jingled or sparkled. During this theft, he showcased even more superpowers, enhanced strength, inhuman flexibility, and incredible speed. It's not just that he's a Grinch, it's that he's THE Grinch, having the strength of 12 Grinches put together. Despite his efforts, however, the people of Whoville still manage to enjoy Christmas, and he wakes on December 25th to the sound of, what else, Christmas carols. Defeated and having finally recognized that Christmas is about more than consumerism, the Grinch redistributes the wealth of Whoville back among its residents. His heart swelled three sizes that day. Sounds dangerous? I've got to read this theory from cardiologist David Cass. The rapid growth of the Grinch's heart at the end of the story indicates that the Grinch has the physiology of a Burmese python. This could also explain his unusual ability to stretch and compress his body into so many shapes. What is never clearly explained is where his hatred for the Christmas holiday comes from. The Jim Carrey movie said that it stems from childhood bullying, while other versions blame his parents. I, for one, think the Who's were just really bad at caroling. The download link is in the description below, and I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.